Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Max. First, what I wanna do is tell you what this channel is and is not. First thing, I'm not a real estate guru. I don't know everything, even though sometimes I like to think I do. I don't have a product to sell you, whether it's $5 or $5,000. Now, I'm not knocking these guys, because I follow some of these guys, like The Clever Investor or Sean Terry. I look up to some of these guys because they're pioneers in this industry. I'm just starting. Well, I'm a little bit more than starting. I'm gonna show you how I took my business from where I had little to no money to now making twenty dollars to $30,000 every month. I mean, wow, that's a lot of money. But I'm gonna also walk you along the process where my business partner and I are trying to take the business from $30,000 a month to six figures a month within the next six to nine months. This might be a little bit uncomfortable for me because I, what I wanna do is break down every deal that we go through as we go through it and show you some of our past deals. This is like our everyday, day-to-day -day stuff. First thing I'm gonna show you is how we did it to where we are now, and then you're gonna get to see us grow to six figures a month. You're gonna get to see our successes, our failures, I guarantee you're gonna see some fuck ups, and everything in between. And since we're making all the mistakes, maybe you don't have to make them too. And when we learn something excellent that works, we're gonna share it with you as well. So what I want you to do is subscribe and like this video, share it with any of your other people that wanna be real estate investors, wholesalers. I'm gonna show you what we did, and then you're gonna to get to see us on this roller coaster ride to making six figures every single month. So do me a favor, subscribe to the page and fasten your damn seat belts because you're gonna welcome to the world of a full-time real estate investor and this ain't as pretty as it is on TV, I promise you. Stay tuned. We're here to document. I'm not here to like just create content, just do like dumb shit. We're just like documenting what's going on. And right now I just left the barber shop, as you can tell. But I'm going to go pick up a check for real estate closing that happened earlier today. And I'm gonna to talk to the attorney and check on another closing that we got supposed to be scheduled. It's just another day. And then it doesn't stop because now we gotta go look at some other properties that we have we're interested in. Um, because once the pipeline fills up, you sell them off and you gotta go get more. So I know I shouldn't be texting and driving, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you don't answer something fast enough, man, it's like on to the next one. That's one thing about real estate. When they call you and tell you they wanna sell a property, you go see them right away because if they're not satisfied with what you got to say to them, they're gonna jump right in the phone and call somebody else. And uh, we can't afford to have no mishaps. You miss something that'll cost you 10 to 20 grand in a heartbeat. So I have to respond quickly. So right now I'm driving to go get to my real estate agent's office to go pick up a check for a closing that happened tomorrow. So another booyah, another quick one. I don't know what the exact proceeds are gonna be on this one because I agreed to do some, uh, pay some things for the, for the seller. Um, so I will see when I get it. But either way, it didn't take much of my time. Um, and it's quick. That's what I love about this, man. Real estate is boom, 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 fast. And you have different exit strategies with different type of properties. You can get a property that closes in seven days. You got long-term holes on properties and stuff like that. So I love real estate, man. I love it. Awesome. Thank you much. Hey, you're welcome. Um, it's not bad. Eleven thousand four hundred seventy bucks. All right, bye. People call me every day, all day, about like helping them with their business, and I take I take their calls because somebody was there to help me when I was when I was doing my thing. Um, but man, I, I realize that time is the number one asset I have, so I have to I have to use it very wisely. And a lot of people like. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people 
a lot of people need the guidance and they'll they'll take it but what i realize is a lot of people don't take the next step to what i'm telling them to do so i don't try to waste a lot of time with people not that it's all wasting time i just don't time is your most valuable asset use it wisely what you spend the time today you can't get back tomorrow so but now we're headed to the bank go deposit uh this check for this closing we did this morning we'll have another one uh, Friday um, usually I don't like to pick up the checks I just like to uh, get wires but my attorney like been doing checks lately so hey this is Max and I'm gonna take you inside of a brand new rehab that is about 95% complete all it needs is some curb appeal come check it out so this property here was something that we bought for forty thousand dollars, put twenty two grand into, and we got on the market for one twenty eight nine. This is a. You can see we updated the entire floors. All right, so this was a four bedroom, two bathroom house, and we turned it into a three bedroom, two bath house. And a lot of people think, why would you turn it down a bedroom? The reason is, is because the extra bedroom was here, what is now the extended dining room and kitchen. So take a look at the brand new kitchen that we put in this house, granite countertops, brand new cabinets and appliances, and the floors without. So what you're looking at here was a door leading into the sunroom that was over here. So we switched it over here because we extended the, the dining room and now you got a big ass tile in here. It's a cool place where you can put a TV. This is also heated and cool square footage. So it is large, large. And you can see if you step back here and look at the kitchen, you got a huge kitchen with the eating dining room. Now going down the hallway, I'm gonna show you the three bedrooms. Just a quick pick, you got a bedroom there. And you got your hallway bathroom right here. Now let's move on to the other bedroom. This one's bedrooms are pretty big. Create the whole wood floor throughout the house. And here you want to see is a big, 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 big window. And it's also shatter um, resistance. So I'm going to take you to the master bedroom, which we kept the same size and we extended the bathroom. We extended the master bathroom, moving in towards what was originally the fourth bedroom that we eliminated, so it's now bigger. So as you can see, got a nice stand-up shower. I'm 6'2", so we got good height on that. Good to go. Okay, so yeah, we'll spend that a month. So. That, that'll be part of the 10 grand we're trying to spend. Yeah, okay. Facebook has been okay. I might trickle a few dollars, maybe five to eight on it, but it's not been, I get the looks, but I don't get the things, but I think with building up the page and I have some content, some other video stuff that I plan on doing, but yeah. So here we are at the gym after a long day's worth of work. We got Derek or whatever he wants to call himself. He's working out right now. He is going to be at a physique competition next week, so I will take y'all with me as we go to New Jersey as he does his. Uh, physique competition. It should be pretty legit, but Derek, what you got to say to him? Oh, besides your insecurities, what, what's going on next week? <laughs> oh, one and a half weeks out from my show, going to uh, Team U up uh, in New Jersey. But you ain't got it like that. What's that? What you talking about? Show him that six. I'm going to show him six. Oh, you got eight now. It's, it's a lot. He wasn't like that about two weeks ago. He was fat two weeks ago. Why? Well, he's not telling you he's not eating people. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Let me get this workout in, and uh, we'll get to work. No, next week he'll um, pull my water, so he'll, he'll load me up probably on Sunday and Monday. Yeah. I'll drink about drink about two gallons of water, and he'll taper it off. But what happens is your body still thinks um, that it doesn't need to hold on to that water because you've been giving it so much. Yeah. And it just gets all the excess water um, out from under your skin, 
it makes you more, much more, more defined. So. so you're gonna be in that five. I'm already in five percent. So my body fat? Yeah. I'm already, yeah. I'm already there. Five percent. It's just gonna be. You're gonna be able to see a lot more. Bro, you know the pictures ain't gonna lie. I agree. I might even bring the camera into the I, show so they can see. You, let's do it. Don't get embarrassed out there. I won't be embarrassed at all. Bro. Just flex on them. <laughs> all right, so I'm a week and a half out from my competition. I want to work on my posing real quick. My name's Derek Gray, and I'm the greatest. Uh, I just want to, I'm going to show y'all some of my posings today. Seth, what's the last show you did? State championships. What, what'd you, North Carolina what'd you place? What'd you place? I took the show. You didn't take the show? I took the show. Okay. The whole show. Okay. Front relaxed, because mm -hmm. your right here was up and just flattening out your core, just right. stretching it out. So you want to try and fill your chest up with air and then squeeze your core down. So it's like chest up and blow out, squeeze it down. And then just like I always tell people, try to pick their arms up with their lats. So it's like get those out and then blow out. I mean, that right there to me is a good. Try to blow out and punch as hard as you can on this court. I mean, that looks good as hell because wide, small. Right. Appreciate that. <laughs> terrible. You look terrible. Right, let's do one. End of the workout. Weight training is finished. Cardio is just finished. Did it 30 minutes on this damn Stairmaster. Derek's nine days out for this competition. He's doing an extra 15 minutes. He's doing a total of 45. It's 10 o'clock now. Go home, eat my last meal, and then do a little bit more work go to bed, get up and grind and do it all over again tomorrow. We love this shit. We gotta keep going.